In this video, we have lead to nitrate plus ammonium chloride. So let's balance this equation. We have one lead and then NO3, that's the nitrate ion, it's a polyatomic ion. It's here and it stays together in the chemical reaction. It's here again. So we're just gonna call it one item. We have one nitrate times two, we have two of those. We have NH4 and that's called the ammonium ion. It also stays together. So we're just gonna say we have one NH4 and then one chlorine. On the product side, we have one PB, one nitrate, one ammonium, and two chlorines. So the nitrates and then the chlorines, those aren't balanced. Let's fix the chlorines first. If we put a two in front of the ammonium chloride, that would mean we have one chlorine times two. So that would balance the chlorines and then the one ammonium times the two, that gives us two of those. Let's fix the ammoniums. We have one here and two here. So let's put a two in front of the NH4NO3. That means one ammonium times the two. That gives us two of those. And then the nitrate, one nitrate times the two. Now we have two nitrates and it looks like now the equation is balanced. Everything is the same on each side. So by counting these polyatomic ions, like the nitrate, which we have here, and then here, or the NH4, the ammonium, we have one here and here, counting them as just one item makes the balancing a lot easier and a lot less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for lead to nitrate plus ammonium chloride. And thanks for watching.